So from this two on one position, uh, from the return, go this way. So turning away, dragging the wrist, the hand off of the head, and bumping underneath like this, okay? Traditionally, we're normally get, gonna get all this contact across the chest here, sorry if that's hurting your shoulder. But sometimes this hand can be hanging here. He wants to get this hand back to his body and sometimes it's, it's tricky bringing it in nice and tight here, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and switch my grip and control the wrist here, okay? I'm still hanging heavy on this, okay? So when I have this grip and this is not connected to my body, I can't be loose here. He's easily gonna snatch his elbow and square up, yeah, and I'm gonna lose everything. So I'm still pulling this into my shoulder. I'm still hanging heavy here. Now this technique, I can do it with this grip or I can go ahead and get this reverse Kimura grip, okay? A Kimura grip is always strong, so it is a good one to have, okay? This one, I want pressure into me. So it's no good when I start driving in, if he's just backing away, backing away, I'm not gonna hit this, okay? When he meets me with pressure, so when I bully him and I start driving in, this is the perfect time to go, okay? His hand, I'm gonna lock either into his hip or through his legs. Both work absolutely fine, okay? My far leg here is gonna shoot through, so I'm actually gonna fall to my hip and start rotating and looking over my shoulder. So once he comes off the chest, I switch the grip, I can use it like this, or I can switch to my Kimura grip. First one, I'm gonna stick it to his hip. It creates a bit of a frame so that when I'm underneath him, I can just direct him right over the top of him. So when we start getting this pressure back in, this leg is through, I drop to the hip, and he goes over. If you prefer, you can just throw his own hand right in between his legs. So once we get here, either like this, Kimura grip, I get that pressure into me. Right underneath. The most important thing on this is that we get the pressure back into us. If he's backing off and I sit, I'm not gonna have anything. So just like a lateral drop almost, I have to get that reaction into me. So as I'm bullying him here, that's when I'm gonna go. So again, from our two on one, sometimes we can't pin this hand to the chest and it starts dangling out here, okay? We can go ahead and switch this grip to more of like a punching one, keeping weight down. Um, but some of, some of the traditional takedowns from the two on one are gone, okay? Especially if he's fighting to bring this back around here. Some guys will take that underhook, yeah, they'll just stop me getting the angle on the guy. So I can take advantage of that. I can even throw this arm through this little gap here myself, okay? So all I'm gonna do here is stay heavy on the tricep grip and peek my head through this hole, okay? We're, we're hitting the fireman's, it's my preference on the fireman's carry that I do a double knee drop. So once I, once I punch this hand through the gap and I roll my head under, I'm gonna drop two knees, okay? Like I said, it's personal preference. Some guys like this, this is the first way I was taught it. Some guys like the hurdle stretch, let's just turn this way. Like this, this is really good, you get really good drop on this. I'm just used to this double knee drop, okay? I can get really low, I can stay on this tricep heavy, and then finish it through here, okay? Head stays on the body, don't put the head on the floor. He'll circle up, and your head will get stuck underneath. Okay, so when you land your fireman's, ear to the chest, chase the hips and legs. You're particularly gonna hit this when he starts to square up as well. So when I try and get the angle on the guy here and he circles in front of me, this is now a perfect time to hit it. I push the arm through the hole, my head peeks through, and you see here I've got this heavy tricep grip and I'm not letting go of that. Arm through, double knee drop, and then to the side. Okay, look at my head, doesn't touch the floor. My ear comes up onto his shoulder and I chase the legs. Don't turn this way, guys. Now we create a scramble. He's got a chance. So once I hit my two on one, 
We're hanging here. If he, if he circles around in front of me, that's when I can start punching this through. And I'll peek the head. 